Sigo sin verte, güey. <laughs> We're here with the undefeated Raul Correa. 10-0 KOs. You're fighting December 18 yes. at the ATT Center. Um, tell us about your opponent, man. He looks very experienced. I was looking at his record. Yeah, it's a very experienced. Kendo Castañeda. He already fought uh, Chon Cepeda and, and other top fighters. But I'm excited, you know. It's a big test for me. You know, I can't wait to put on the show for the fans in Texas. I'm very excited and can't wait to step into the ring. How was your training camp? Is it's throughout the holidays? Yeah, uh, it, it, I'm, it's hard to stay focused. You know, thinking. Yeah, just, going just on. yesterday was uh, turning 26 with my birthday. Uh -huh. So um, you know, it's the sacrifice of boxing. I know my job, and 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 right now, you know, I'm very focused on my fight, defend my title, put on the show for the fans, and you know, very thankful for my for my all my team, the Waka team, my manager Frank Espinosa, and my promoter Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy. Uh, can't wait to put on the show and it's gonna be exciting and great fight. Being managed by the same team that Oscar Valdez is managed for on uh, the success that you see he's having, mm -hmm. having been in training camp all those times with Oscar, yeah. um, how does that uh, motivate you knowing that? Uh, he, mo he motivated a lot, you know, I know him since I was a kid and he always, you know, tried to give me a good advice for my career uh, and he's a good friend of mine too and I'm very excited, you know, to be part of the Espinosa Boxing. I know they have a lot of history with the world champions and I hope to one day I become a world champion too. But right now, you know, very, very thankful for God and, and very focused on my, my next fight. Marvin, what can you tell us about training camp and uh, Raul's uh, opponent? Uh, Raul's training camp was great. Uh, Raul is very disciplined, he's in very good shape. And uh, you see his last fight, and he's better than you know, his, last, his fight. last fight. Of course. Last performance, uh huh. Yeah, he's ready. The other guy is good too. So we'll That's see. A lot of experience. Fight. He's yeah, a lot of hard guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. um, but we have a great sparring at World Cup too. We score a lot of uh, All right, last let, champions. Let, last thing, um, did you see the fight uh, yesterday? Uh, Javante yep. Davis versus Isaac Cruz. What did you think? No, it was a good, good fight. You know, Isaac do a, a great job. You know, he already said it. The newborn, uh, newborn star, and the 135 pounds. You know, I always support the Mexican people, and I respect Gervonta Davis. I know he's a very talented boxer. You know, he born to fight, but uh, Isaac do uh, do very well. You know, and, and there was exciting fight. There was exciting fight, and I hope that that this 2022. Uh, they they give us more fights to the fans, you know, and good for for good for Isaac. Uh -huh. Good looking forward for the next years. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for him. All right, last words for your fans and tell them where to follow you on social media. Yes, Raúl Curiel in Instagram, Raúl Cougar Facebook too. Follow me and see you over there. On Facebook watch in December 18. Thank you for for the interview. God bless you always.